Are you optimistic about opportunity in 2021? Um, well, first of all, thank you for that introduction. I love that. Uh, very few times do people talk about Clark. But um, yeah, I am actually um, pretty optimistic. I think for us, um, what you are seeing is it's a little bit of what you just talked about. You're, you're seeing that there are problems in a number of places, but there's also growth. So for us, really what we're finding is opportunities mm -hmm. where we can invest in situations where people need capital uh, and we're providing that capital, but we're doing it at a pretty steep price. When you clear a balance sheet out, you are now clearing within the reality of a Fed at the zero bound. Has yep. the Fed distorted your part of the hedge fund world? It actually has. Um, what's ended up happening is it's made um, it easier for companies to borrow money. Um, so anybody who could borrow is doing so. But then what it's done is the reverse. If you can't borrow, um, then you've got to you've got to deal with folks like me. And if you're doing that, um, we're able to charge 12, 15 percent. So it's kind of odd, a zero rate environment. Yet we're still charging 12 to 15. I love that you say, otherwise you've got to deal with me and you don't want to deal with me. Mark, I do wonder when you look at distressed investing going forward, how much of this is simply who knows bankruptcy law best? And I ask this of you knowing that you did clerk uh, for a bankruptcy judge in the Southern District of New York. So is that really what this game has become? Um, I think you've got to understand uh, bankruptcy law because what ends up happening now is um, you're going to have a number of restructurings. But I would tell you the most important part today is really understanding the balance sheet of a company. Um, that if we're gonna lend, are we you know, super secured? Are we senior? Where are we in the capital structure? Um, because things can change on a dime and you wanna make sure that you're covered. So I would tell you the capital structure is gonna be a little bit more important but you better have that legal background. Well, embedded in this is the assumption that perhaps, or my presumption, that recoveries are not gonna be as robust this time around, given how much debt has been incurred and given some of the erosion with uh, some of the covenant light uh, loans that we have seen. How much lower will recoveries be and how much fiercer will the battle be over who gets what? Oh, I think recoveries will definitely be lower. And I think the fights are going to be absolutely insane because everybody's going to be fighting over a smaller pie. So that, that's why the focus is really where are you in the capital structure. But you're going to have lower recoveries. It's, it, it's hard for you not to, mainly mm -hmm. because of what you said, which is that people have taken on more debt um, and there's less equity value there. Mark, I want to talk about market drawdown, sharp ratios, and the ability to make two and 20, but that's going to have to pass. I've got a horde of people that want to know if you can bring the glory of Elsinder and Oscar Robertson and the Milwaukee Bucks back. What is the plan forward after signing this gentleman for a gajillion million dollars? What is the Bucks' plan into 2021 in the NBA bubble? Um, I... I the plan is simple, it's to try to win a championship. Uh, the execution of that plan is gonna be kind of hard. Um, I, look, we're gonna do everything we can, and I think we've got probably, you know, our big three, which is, I think, second to none, at least in the East. Um, so I think we'll have a pretty good shot. Um, I think everybody's pretty excited. I think the hard part was really, re-signing Giannis and the fact that we were able to do that mm -hmm. is actually great for Milwaukee. It's great for small market teams, um, right. but more important, it's great for our team. Mark, your leadership was there in a time for this nation where Milwaukee was a center and the soul of protest in this nation. What do you want to see from Milwaukee this year? What is the goal to get to a more peaceful America? Look, I think at the end of the day, I think it's listening. It's trying to bring about change. But I think what we've tried to do is be at the forefront of that um, with our players, um, I think with everyone. So we're trying to bring about that change, but we're doing it by seeing how and what people need. So I think we're, you know, it's, look, it's going to be difficult. It's going to take time. But hopefully if people have patience, we'll be able to do it.